Hey guys, this is Michael from Cocker Chemistry. In today's video, we'll be talking about how to convert between grams, moles, and molecules. While this skill may seem complicated and difficult, it really isn't. It really comes down to following this flowchart right here. Right here, yeah, following this flowchart. And we'll work through this flowchart using some examples, and then by the end of this video, you'll know exactly how to convert between grams, moles, and molecules. So let's start with this example. Let's say we're trying to convert between convert 45 grams of water and we want to get that into uh, the number of molecules. Cool, so let's take a look at where we start. We're starting on the flowchart and where we're trying to go. So we're starting at grams and we're trying to get to molecules. So that means we have to go this way we have to go this way and we pretty much just follow these arrows right here and it tells, tells us first we're starting with grams so we have 45 grams of H2O and we're just going to divide by the molar mass so I'm going to divide by the molar mass of water which is um, 18.015 again if you're having difficulty finding molar mass just take a look at my molar mass video I go into detail about how to figure out the molar mass of anything great so we just knocked out that first step so we get to moles and then from moles to molecules, we're going to multiply by Avogadro's number, which is 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd. And then we plug that into our calculator, we, and then we get 1.5 times 10 to the 24th molecules of water. So that's the shortcut. Now, next I'm going to show you how to do this dimensional analysis so you can actually show your work or your homework or on your tests. So we'll start again with the grams, 45 grams of H2O. Then I'm going to divide by molar mass to get to moles. Uh, with dimensional analysis, you're going to want to multiply by a, a factor. And it's all about canceling out units. So if you have grams of H2O right here, you're going to want grams of H2O on the bottom so you can cancel it out. And then on top is the unit that you, you're going to. So here we're going from grams to moles. So that means I'm going to have moles of H2O on top because the top unit, it's where you're going to. And it says you're going to divide by molar mass. That means we're going to put the molar mass on the bottom. So we're going to put 18.015 on the bottom. And then for moles, there's always going to be one mole in front when you're converting between grams, moles, and molecules. So doing that, you can see that the grams of H2O, they're going to cancel each other out and you're left with moles of water. Great, now we have moles of water, we want to get it to molecules of water. So looking at the arrow, we're going to multiply it by Avogadro's number. So we're going to multiply it by a factor. It's all about canceling out units. So if I have moles of H2O on top, I'm going to want moles of H2O on the bottom so it can cancel out. And then multiply by Avogadro's number, which is 6.022 times 10 to the 23. And we're trying to get to molecules, so we're going to have molecules of H2O on top. And always when you have moles, you're going to put one in front. So then now the moles of H2O cancel each other out and then you're just left with molecules of H2O. And then that gives us the answer 1.5 times 10 to the 24 molecules of H2O. Okay, let's work through another example. For this example, let's say we have 7.2 times 10 to the 20 molecules of methane, CH4. And we're trying to get that to moles of CH4. Great, let's take a look at where our flowchart, where we're starting, where we're trying to go. So we have molecules, we're starting right here, and then we're trying to get to moles. That means we only have to do one step. We just have to go forward. That means we have to take the molecules and then we have to divide by Avogadro's number and that will give us the moles. So we do that with dimension analysis. We get 7.2 times 10 to the 20 molecules of CH4. I'm going to multiply that by a factor. Again, it's all about canceling out units. So I've got moles of CH4. Here, that means I'm going to have moles of CH, sorry, molecules of CH4 here. I'm going to have molecules of CH4 on the bottom, so then they can cancel out. 
And I'm trying to get to moles of CH4. So that means moles of CH4 is going to be on the top. And it says right here, I'm dividing by Avogadro's number. So I'm going to put Avogadro's number on the bottom. 6.022 times 10 to the 23. And with moles, you're always going to put 1. And when we do this, the molecules of CH4 cancel each other out. And we are left with 0 0.0012 moles of CH4. Let's take it one step further. Let's say I have moles right now and I want it to get into grams. So I'm here, I have moles and I want it to get to grams. So that means I'm going to go forward again and I'm going to multiply the moles by the molar mass. So I'm going to take our moles 0 0.0012 moles of CH4, multiply it by a factor. It's all about canceling out units. So if you have moles of CH4 up here, you're going to put moles of CH4 in the bottom. And we're trying to get to grams, so that means grams of CH4 is going to be on the top. The common theme, if you notice from all these problems we're doing, you're going to want to cancel out units, and then whatever units you want to get to is going to be on the top. Uh, so it says multiplied by molar mass, and in multiply, we're going to put that number on top. The molar mass of CH4 is 16.05, and then again, we're going to put 1 in front of moles. And then when we do that, notice the moles cancel each other out, and then we're left with 0 0.019 grams of CH4. And that's it. That's really how we convert between grams, moles, and molecules. Just remember this flowchart, and you should be able to do any of these type of problems. So hopefully that helped, and if you, if it did, like the video, subscribe, because throughout the semester, I'll be posting up a ton of videos that will help you conquer chemistry and do better in the class. And then if you, if you liked my teaching style and you're interested in tutoring, check out www.conquer chemistry.com slash online tutoring. And I'll put a link in the description below so you can just click on it and go to the website. All right, until next time.